Cosmos weapon. Oh, I got hands. Let's play some pool. All right, Cosmos, here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm the Don, <laughs> the ghost net guy of Washington State. In today's episode of the YouTube, I'm going to share a secret with you people that I have kept to myself for years. You see, some time ago, I was doing a near shoreline survey, looking for abandoned derelict gear that are killing our seabirds. Lots of seabirds die in these abandoned nets. Well, up on the beach was a box, and around the box was a net with glass balls around it to give flotation to it. Looking at it a little bit closer, I discovered that it looks like there might be something in it, so I decided to take it home. But I tried everything to open that box. I even took a torch. No luck. Finally, I got a nice fire in the wood stove, and the wood radiating that heat started to soften up the box, and it opened. Wow, there's a lot of old things in here. There's a scroll with gold paper. This looks really old. There's a note attached. To the person reading this log, it's obvious now that I'm not alive and that you are now the caretaker to this very rare and special rabbit called Cosmos. All there is is a stone rabbit looking bank. It goes on to say that there were three Netherland dwarf bunnies who came from a long line of royalty blood marked with the pink rabbit coat of arms, and they each had special talent. However, though, when the moshy dough started sinking, we were only able to catch the one Cosmic. His two sisters, they perished, we believe, we're not sure. But in Putting Cosmos to sleep, you can bring him back to life by putting these gold coins in his back. Once alive, you can ask Cosmos pretty much anything. All you have to do is look into his right eye, and you'll see the good things of life. You look into his left eye, you're going to see the hard things in life. You might not like what you see. Given the chance, maggots will eat you. <laughs> 